What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Happy Monday. Yes, man. So blessed that you guys can join the season finale of season two, the interview series. Uh, we got a special one for you guys. Like always, we always got to bring somebody to bring value to all to you all. And we're looking forward to having a great night again on the season finale of the interview series, season two, should we say. So I see a few, a few of you all jumping in, jumping on. So we always, first and foremost, ask, make sure you, if you have not, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that like button, right? We always want to give you guys value. The least you can do is just give us a like and share this. Also, if you can, share this live with about five people, all right? Share it about five people or so, so that way they can get value. We want to make sure, um, you know, we, we provide the most value we can and, and highlighting um, successful people in mobile home investing, just like our guest tonight. So we're super, super excited um, to definitely, what's up? What's up, Talia? Uh, we got Ms. Lizzie G. What's going on from Cali? All right. So y'all know how we get started. Where you guys checking in from? Drop it in the chat. Let me know where you checking in from. We are checking in from Chicago. All right. I see we got, uh, man, I'm Ms. Dupree. How you feeling? Let's see where y'all checking in from. And then last but not least, I want y'all to start dropping those fire sign emojis because we got to get our guests fired up. We got to get them, um, you know, make sure we show that appreciation for our guests. Like always, let's see who we got on here. What's up, Arlanda? How you feeling? Representing H-Town. Um, and we got Queen, the, the Queen, Renee Thompson. Shout out to one of the Fast Track students. Cannot wait to meet you. Yes, what's going on, Renee? Let's see. What's up, Dave, man? Dave, man, appreciate you. Dave, always been rocking with us, man. Truly appreciate you, Dave. Who else we got? We got Crystal. What's up, Miss Wilson? Checking in from Louisiana. What's up, Benji? We got Carrie, North Carolina. On Onita, what's up? Uh, Dallas. Let's see. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. Adele says, good evening, multimillionaires. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. New York City in the house. Uh oh, someone said they got no sound. So you may want to try to come in and out um, if you can't hear us. Uh, man, I love it. I see y'all got the fire signs. We got Kentucky. Let's see, we got Tim. Okay. Hey, Mara, appreciate you so much. Kentucky in the house. Oh, man, I see y'all warming it up. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. You think they're ready? I think they are. <laughs> oh, man, let's get it, man. Without further ado, <laughs> Man, listen, we are so happy to bring this king up as he talk about wholesaling. And when y'all hear the timeline that he wholesale, man, make sure y'all got a pen and pad. Y'all can possibly all learn some things. We got Cincinnati in the house. Man, without further ado, I want y'all to put in the chat, go Ish. Go Ishmael, man. Go ahead and get that. What's up, my man Ishmael? How you feeling? Uh, Oops. Excited oh. to be here. So... Nice, nice, man. Yeah. Glad to have you on here. My bad. I think I actually yeah, muted, muted you. Muted you. So yeah. Yeah. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, yeah we can hear you yeah. now. No, I appreciate you guys bringing me on here, man. This is this is exciting stuff. So you know, I didn't expect to be on here, you know, quite this soon. So um, I'm excited, and I'm hopefully I can bring some value, you know, to the folks that are that are listening today. So. Oh man. Yes. Yes, for sure, for sure. Now we definitely. We definitely, uh, man, we heard your story on what you were able to do. We said we had to get you on here to inspire some people. Um, definitely who's looking at, to wholesale, we know you're going to definitely drop some gems. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, Ishmael. So let us know um, where you're checking in from, what's your location, and what do you do? Are you doing mobile home investing full time? Do you work right now? Let us know what you got going on. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so I'm uh, actually a full-time civil engineer. And I'm out of Boise, Idaho. So um, I'm married. I have an 18 month old daughter. Um, right. So really, my, both my wife and I are full time uh, employed. So that's you know keeping us pretty busy. Mm -hmm. um, but we enjoy spending time outdoors. Boise is a great area to you know go rafting and, and skiing and mountain biking, all that good stuff. So um, yeah, and I, I that's uh, I, I got started in mobile home investing, and, and um, I'm here now. So. Nice. Nice, man. I love it. Appreciate it, man. We got, again, you see the crowd. Love it. They got going each, man. Let me go ish, man. Let's go ahead and make this thing happen. Mm -hmm. So how did you end up getting introduced to mobile home investing? Uh, let's see. That's uh, it's a long story, but I'll, I'll try to keep it not, not too long. But uh, <laughs> not, 
enough to be informative. So mm-hmm. um, I actually started uh, kind of searching at, at you know, uh, real estate investing options. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, through that, I bumped into wholesaling. So really, and honestly, it's crazy it happened, but it, it went full circle is that I started trying to wholesale. Um, and I, I did a couple of different methods. I started sending uh, direct mail to distressed owners. Um, I was able to get my first uh, deal. It was a little sloppy deal on a duplex. Um, yeah, I really didn't get a lot out of that one. It was a couple thousand dollars. Uh, but I made you know, way too many mistakes that I, I felt like I really wasn't quite sure what I was doing there. Uh, I, I switched over to Bandit Signs and I started uh, also marketing to homes. So, you know, the, the buy homes for cash fast. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got a call from a, a mobile home owner. Mm-hmm. And um, I showed up to the house. He called me and he said, Hey, I got a mobile home. And I said, You know what? Hey, um, let's take a look at it. At that time, I had no idea this was even a thing or an option. <laughs> I was like, Well, you know, these things, they're like cars, right? They depreciate. That's the mindset I was at when I, when I first got that call. So he seemed highly motivated. So I was like, well, you know, let's let's take a look and see if there's something, you know, there for for both of us. So showed up and he really pretty much took, you know, the first offer I gave him. And I wasn't quite sure what I was, you know, how, how I value. And I said, hey, I'm not quite sure, you know, you know um, what the value of these are. But, you know, this is what tentatively I can offer you. So um, if, if you take it, we can close within, you know. 24 hours or so. Um, at that time, I had a you know a funding partner, so um, I went home. We did some comparables. I uh, um, I saw that it was about thirty thousand or so. Actually, it was like thirty thirty five thousand dollars in an as is value. Mm-hmm. I offered the guy fifteen thousand and he took it. So when I realized that um, it, this was potentially a deal here, I called the realtor and say, hey, you know, can you give me a market comparable just to get a little peace of mind? And they valued it at like 40, 45,000. Nice. So at that point, I was like, well, this is this is it. This is the deal. So I, you know, try to gather the money and uh, we were able to, to, to close uh, the following day and we simply relisted it. Mm. So um, we split the margin on that one. And um, but that's when I realized, hey, this is this is a, um, an industry here, right? A profitable mm-hmm. industry here. So. Uh, the thing that happened though is that my um, I, I stopped marketing uh, after that deal. Um, I, I figured, well, this is a big ch- chunk of change, right? So mm-hmm. uh, then a couple of things happened, personal stuff. My wife got pregnant, um, and then I got super busy with a ton of stuff. So uh, I, I'm sure, as you all know, once you stop marketing, I mean, your your business is essentially dead, right? So um, it it took a while to decide to get back into it. Mm-hmm. So just recently in January, I said, you know what, I'm going to try this again and I'm going to I'm going to do a consistent marketing campaign. And then I scheduled, you know, twice a week to go out and put bad times. And I said, well, I'm going to just do this consistently um, for the rest of the year and see how that see how that pans out. And that's really been my only marketing, my only marketing um, a strategy. So abandoned signs, Um, and that's, you know, major intersections and uh, mobile home parks. So nice. um, But that's that's kind of how I got started. So, man, that's cool, man. I mean, you know, reflecting back, like you said, you know, you kind of just stumbled onto it. Right. And then even, you know, sometimes a lot of times people may get those deals. and They like there's no money in it. Right. And even you said, like, you know, it could be a a depreciating asset. He's like, you know what? Let me give a try. And. To even quote this guy to find out it's worth 30 plus, and then now you quote it for 15. And I know you're like, wait, he said yes. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> that's that's cool, man. I hope you guys were, you know, taking, you know, I put those gym signs. We've talked about the importance of bandit signs, man. So yeah, and consistency of choosing two days a week while working a full-time job, being a husband and a full-time father as well. So definitely the consistency. I hope you guys hear that as well. So let's go ahead and let's talk about your first wholesale deal that you got the 7,000 assignment fee on. So walk us through that deal. Um, yeah. So I guess before I get to that one, I did, I did my first deal really happened within like my first bandit sign um, 
Oh, nice. Uh, campaign. So that one, I actually was able to buy. It was a plus 55 community. That one wasn't a wholesale, but I, I want to really just touch on the wholesale deal because mm -hmm. really that's the one that triggered, um, I think, what, what came after that was, um, so on that one, I got a call from an owner and he bought a lot, it's four acres, and he had this manufactured home on it that he didn't want it. And he said, hey, I'm trying to sell this, but I don't want it on my lot. And I was, wasn't was quite sure what I was going to do there either, right? Like a lot of these deals that you bump into. So I, I thought about a couple of exit strategies or, or options to to provide or to offer the the seller. And But before I showed up, I did some comparables just to make sure I was actually prepared at this time. And I, um, and I, I took into account potentially having to move it. So mm. um, and when I showed up, I looked at the place. It was in great condition, move-in ready condition. I mean, it was a 1998. It's got that wood siding. Um, it's got the. It's got great roof, new windows, AC system. I mean, it was it was in great condition. So, um, I offered the guy thirty thousand dollars, but I told him specifically. I said, "Hey, um, this this is contingent on me finding a lot." I told him, "Hey, I have I have partners. You know, I have invest investor partners." And um, I, I got a pretty good network and I think I can, I can, you know, um, give you the 30 K if that's what you, if that's what you decide on. So I said, Hey, this deal is only, is only uh, valid for 24 hours after that. I'm not going to be able to honor that. Um, so I told him, Hey, maybe less, you know, after that. So um, think about it and let me know. Um, so he, I sent him a written offer. And the, the, with the signature, signature section at the bottom, um, and he sent it right back that same night. He says, hey, oh. Ish, let's do this. Um, I, I told him, hey, um, seller, uh, there's a chance I may sell this, you know, before we even close or, or, or um, there, there's a lot of options that, that, that I can do here. So he said, yeah, that's fine. Do what you got to do. And I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's when it clicked is when i is when i was like whoa this is a this is a wholesale at this point so and the funny thing is that i was on one of your live live uh q a sessions at some point and i was asking you guys hey how do you do the wholesale i don't even know how you would even do that on a mobile because it's so quick yeah and until i finally you know did it is when i realized you know how that pans out so um he said yes. I um, I started marketing it on Craigslist, only Craigslist. Mm -hmm. I got a ton of calls, a ton of calls, and these were all lot owners, and they were cash buyers. So like, okay, I got. They were uh, movers as well. So people who had moving companies, uh, people who had lots, and people who had cash. I developed a list of like fifteen individuals nice. with lot of cash and ready to move mobile uh, mobile home buyers. Mm -hmm. So I showed the home to some of the more serious. I, I filtered them through, through phone calls said, hey, I'm looking for serious buyers only. I, I said, I'm looking for buyers who have lots, cash ready, and they have a bit, uh, ability to move this mobile home. Um, otherwise, you know, it's it's not going to happen. So I set up a, a date for them to, sh to come and look at the place. Seller was there. Uh, I told him, hey, these are potential partners. Um, and he was completely fine with it. And um, all of them gave me offers. Wow. So um, I locked one in and I told the seller, hey, what I, I was transparent with him. And I said, hey, um, the way I'm going to do this and to facilitate the transaction is instead of you selling it to me, me trans, uh, transferring title to myself, then transferring title mm -hmm. to this individual. I'm just going to um, assign the contract over to this to this buyer. Mm -hmm. So it facilitates the transaction. He says that works for me. I'm trying to get this out of here. So. Um, I told the, both the seller and the buyer and they were completely okay with it. So on that one, I put a $7,000 assignment fee on it. Mm. Nice. So I think it was like within four days, I got it. I got both parties to sign on that. So um, as soon as I did that, I was like, this is it. <laughs> you know, this is, this is it. So as soon as I did, that, I knew if I could do that, I could do, you know, almost any deal. So that same, I think it was Friday. Um, I got a call from another seller. Coincidentally, this was all, um, as far as I'm concerned, just luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
another lot owner needed to get this mobile home offer lot. This one was a 1994. Also, it had great bones, a wood siding, roof needed to be replaced. This was about a $15,000 rehab work on this one. But um, I showed up, did the exact same thing. I was like, well, I know how to do this now. So I, I told them, hey, um, I have a network of individuals. You know, I'm either going to partner with them or I'm going to just uh, um, assign it over to them. And they were like, sure. Um, and the, the problem with that one is that they were in a rush. They needed it out of there within two to three weeks. So because of that, I wasn't able to, you know, set a higher margin than I wanted to. And I didn't really contract them at a good price. So um, I got her at 15. And then uh, that same weekend, Saturday, I think Sunday, um, I was cashed out on that one for the 3K. Wow. And it was, and then actually, funny enough, because of the list of buyers that I developed, I was able to call uh, some of the some of the for the buyers that that had offered on the previous property and said, "Hey, I got another one. Are you interested?" And in, 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 on the first call, I got an offer on it. Oh. So I didn't, didn't nice. even have to look at it. And the good thing about that is now I have a list of you know buyers. Yeah. So um, anytime I have you know a good condition mobile home that needs to be moved, I got a good list. So, um, but that's that's those were the two wholesale deals that I did um, for that. So. Nice. Um, That's good stuff, bro. Man, I hope I hope y'all listening, right? So one thing you know that really stood out is to me when you know, like you said, like your buyers list, right? Your buyers list. That second deal, it, it that was like a forty-eight hour turnaround, right? It was it was real quick, yeah. And he wanted to close quicker. Wow. He said wow. he showed up and looked at it. He's like, well, why don't we just do it now? Um, and I, I had a couple of commitments. I said, hey, you know, let's give me a little bit of time. But he was ready to go. So he was like, I'll just go All pick right. up the trash. And um, I mean, it could have been a couple hour deal. So but I couldn't do it. So we waited a couple of a uh, couple of days. But um, but that's how that worked out. Wow. No, that's that's huge, man. And, and the reason why I think that to me it really stood out. You that first home you marketed, you said only on Craigslist, correct? Only on Craigslist. Wow. 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 And then a lot of times we hear, you know, a lot of people, you know, from us was just like, you know, Craigslist, we don't really see nothing on there. You know, I barely get traffic, but listen. It's still a sleeper. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a reason why we tell you all to market on all those different social media and those media platforms because of the fact that you never know where your buyer is going to come from. Right. And in this case, you were able to find someone on Craigslist. So that's huge. Tremendously huge. So let me ask you something about that 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 three K deal, right? Um, yeah. You know, again, we talk like I said, a forty eight hour turnaround. One thing to me, what I, you, you talked about was just that urgency, right? They wanted to to sell that house fast. Did you did you face any objection about taking that deal, or did you say, you know what, I, I, I'm gonna go right into action mode. I'm gonna make it happen. Objection from from who? So as far you even yourself, right? Did you think like, hey, this is a little too soon, or no? Because I had already, like I said, once I did that first one, it was like, yeah, this is this. I'm gonna do it. And um, mm -hmm. so the way I structured the first one was, uh, it was an offer contingent on finding a lot owner slash partner. Mm -hmm. So I was able to back out of it if I didn't find one. So and they were aware of that. They were fine with it. So on this one, I told her I was gonna give her three hundred dollars as a, a deposit, uh, but contingent on finding a partner with a lot. So, and the thing is I was already, because of the previous offers, I was confident I was gonna be able to do it. I called, I actually called a mover who had cash ready to move it. So he came, he moved it like two days after. So. Wow. Nice. Um, yeah, and movers right now, they're six weeks out on average. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's backed up. Yeah. It's bad, man. Man, listen, can you drop that gem one more time? What did you put in your contract again? Because I want y'all to listen to what it said. Uh, so I it was a, a, de a deposit for 300 bucks in this case. And I told her, hey, um, it's contingent upon, you know, finding a lot owner slash partner. Yeah. Um, to me, this is it's like a, it's like a niche, it seems like, mm -hmm. where 
you know, it's people who are trying to get rid of these mobile homes on lots. You know, I got a, I got a niche, you know, um, buyers list for that. So, um, and that's, that's how I did it. And I told her the exact same thing. Hey, I'm gonna offer you 15 K. Um, it's only valid, valid for 24 hours. Um, and after that, it's possibly gonna, gonna be less, you know, so same thing, send them a contract. They send it back that, that same evening and, um, they're like, yeah, let's do it. So. Wow. Man, that's cool. That's cool. You know, I think that if you hope you guys definitely pick that up, right? Just even a strategy and even like it said, being able to find a niche, you know, mm -hmm. in in mobile home investing. And I think that's one thing a lot of times we get caught up on. I want to fix and flip. Right. But there's so many different strategies that you can use in mobile home investing. So, man, I think, man, big shout out to you, man. Yes, I know we've been talking about wholesaling, but do you have any other deals on the plate? Any fix and flips? Any other strategies that you're working on? Um, actually, I've I've done two more deals after that, and right. um, one of the things I wanted to to I guess um, uh, put into this the interview. Wait till I guess to to to, to the good time is um, we did one that was um, retail that uh, hundred and. Actually, I have another crazy story. It's like half an hour long. Actually, I can do 10 minutes on this one. So, um, or even less, but I'll make it quick. It was a, it was a title dispute um, on, a, on, a, on 2018, four bed, two bath. I mean, in immaculate condition. Um, and the one, seller calls me and says, hey, I got this uh, home that was sold to me. The previous owner still lives there and still claims it's his mobile home mm -hmm. and and um there was a lot of he said she said uh conversations and, and i ended up talking to him and he's like no she stole the the title for me i don't know how she got it and forged it and um there's a lot of details in there that um i mean there was um conversations of, of, of drugs involved somewhere in there <laughs> um so what I ended up doing is, and this all happened very quickly, is I said, hey, let's all sit, let's all get together. And let's sit down mm -hmm. and talk about this. I got them both. And they were in, in, in conflict. So I mm -hmm. said, we sat, we sat down, all three of us, and I said, hey, what if there's an uh, opportunity where we can all work something out that, that works for all of us? They're like, what are, you, what are you thinking? You know, so I said, you know, what if I pay both of you out and um, – we settled the title dispute and they said, well, you know, that that's, you know, probably something I would do. And, and they were both mm -hmm. agreed to it. And, um, they thought about it for, um, for an evening, call me back and said, Hey, yeah, let's, let's do it. Um, so I offered them 15, $15,000 each. And it was, it's assessed at 105. Mm, wow. Oh, so, and it's in the immaculate condition. There's no no repairs needed. So right now it's just sitting essentially in inventory just to be placed right. on the So this was also a partnership deal. So it's gonna be a 50-50 split. Mm -hmm. But um that was probably the biggest one. And then uh, Saturday I closed on another another interesting story is um I, I bought one in a plus fifty five community in January. I put a Binance. I saw one of the. I can't remember a member on the community say, "Hey, put in, you should put your Binance signs out on your mobile homes." Mm -hmm. That same evening, I drove down to the mobile home. I put a Binance sign out there, and just this last weekend, a neighbor calls me and says, "Hey, I saw your Binance sign on your mobile home, and um, unfortunately, her mom passed away, mm -hmm. and she said, mm -hmm. um, I heard you're you're buying these cash, and we just we just want to do an easy transaction.'" And I mean, right off the bat, she says, we're, we're just going to sell it to you. So um, there was almost no negotiation. But what I like to do with sellers is I like to give them a fair um, fair value for the property. I don't like to say, hey, I'm going to give you five bucks. So, you know what I mean? I like to say, hey, this is this got some value to it. So I'm going to give you, you know, I gave I, I offered her twelve thousand dollars for it. But um, <clears throat> that one, I mentioned it to showcase the you know, putting out your banner signs or um, uh, doing things like that, you know, to, to keep your, your deals, deal flow going. So, yeah. Um, and then we established a healthy relationship with the property manager. Mm -hmm. So the uh, approval process was fairly instant. Mm -hmm. yes. so, 
Dude, that's key, man. Like I, I, I learned that. First of all, okay, <laughs> you said it so. What I love about Ishmael, your humility, man. You said it was so, like, so calmly. Like, so let me get this right. You were able to buy a hundred thousand dollar house, was selling for thirty thousand, giving them fifteen thousand each. Correct? Yeah, that's right. So, so thirty. So, I want y'all to listen to this. A hundred thousand dollar mobile home, right? Now, a lot of you all in the market is like, where do you, where is these hundred thousand dollar mobile homes? And some of you guys know that these mobile homes can get really high up there, right? So then, what I love about it was, you settled that. What I, that's how I put it. You are problem solver. You heard the problem, right? You knew that they were in a conflict. You were able to have conflict resolution to get like. I, it's funny. It's like getting. A, a blood and a crypt to sit down together to have a conversation, yeah, just, right? Then that's exactly you know, how it was. It was wild, yeah. <laughs> right, right. They had a conversation, and then after the conversation, you would say, I mean, what I love about it, how you stood and say, hey, listen, what if I was to give you guys, I'll give you 15000 give you 15000 Immediately, I, I guarantee, like, when you said that, tell me, walk me through to, to their emotion when they heard that. Like, what did they have any pushback or, like, what, what was their reaction like when they heard they that? They were excited. Because yeah. they, they were thinking each, well, I'm not going to get any money out of this because they mm -hmm. had to settle the dispute for six months in court. Wow. The, wow. The, they, they had several dismissed cases. Uh, one of them was saying, hey, I put a lien on this title that she can't sell. And she mm -hmm. said, hey, I'm having trouble selling it because nobody wants to touch you know, the title. And so when I said, hey, you're both going to get some money here, they were like, okay. You're right. Yeah. So um, wow. what I what I did was I what I what I do there. Um, I was gonna talk about the contract. I can't remember it. It'll it'll come up. But man, that's um, oh, it was it was a forty eight hour deal. So we went back and forth negotiating. They wanted highest. So he he kept calling me and saying, "Hey, I want more than that. I can give more." And she wanted more. And and um, what I ended up doing is I did both. I did uh, release a liability from both of them. Mm -hmm. Typed it up and said, "Hey." You release of any liability to this title, you confirm that you're the um, any uh, potential dispute is settled here and um, now, and it was notarized. So we added a notary to it. So we all showed up, everything was notarized, and they were cashed out. So um, wow. it hasn't sold yet, but to me, that's that was bro, that's probably one of the bigger the bigger deals right there. So. Oh yeah, Dude. that's huge. That's huge. Like I said, thirty thousand to acquire a hundred thousand dollar mobile home. So you're talking about mm -hmm. you a potential to make seventy thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. From a thirty thousand dollar investment. I hope y'all listening to that and mm -hmm. picking up on how he was able to do it. Right again, going in as a problem solver. Shout out to Tina when our What's former up, Martina. Yes, when our former alumni to jump on here. But man, like each, like that's huge. And again, I love the way you 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 have you bring in really creative strategies to the market, right? To be able to to market, and then you are here solving problems, right? Because that could have got that situation could have been a whole lot worse yeah. if those two would have started kept on being at it. But mm -hmm. you were able to come in conflict resolution, give them you know a solution thirty thousand dollars again, fifteen each. I know they were happy, but then look at the gem, the treasure that you got. You know, again, oh man, Larry, you said the king of contracts, man. Seriously, <laughs> brother, you, he know yeah. about them clauses. I love it. Yeah. They showed up with uh, one of the sellers showed up with knives, like three knives strapped to her. <laughs> oh wow! The, <laughs> the house had like five cameras, and um, uh, that was always carrying. So. Um, it could have been ugly up in there, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, you're brave. You're a hey, brave right, man. Right. Yeah, I get the deal closed. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of that, like how important is it? Like, and I love that you talk about those relationships a little early, but talk about the importance of how you built relationships and how those relationships have been beneficial for you in your mobile home investment journey. Um, so quite honestly, originally it wasn't as important you know, picking up because I'm, I, because I don't have the relationships established. I got to depend on, you know, more creative ways of, of marketing. Mm -hmm. But um, as deals, you know, started coming through and, and making sure that I um, provided value to the sellers and even the uh, park managers, then I was able to get, you know, like 
being able to facilitate uh, an approval at one of the parks, right? Or uh, one of the, that situation specifically where um, the one we were just talking about, the two, the title dispute, the property management, I called them and they were aware of what was going on. And they said, hey, I'm not even gonna vet you. You know, I'm not gonna vet you. Uh, you go ahead and, 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 and take care of that. And we would greatly appreciate it because they had been having trouble with them forever. So <clears throat> with that, that's, you know, placement in a good situation with the property manager um, to be able to uh, do something similar in her part, right? Um, so uh, it, it's starting to become more and more important, I think. So. Um, Nice. I think it's freezing a little bit here. Oh, hold on one second. Let us know if you can see us. Uh, Oh, I don't, I don't play with us today. Is that you guys or me? Can you not hear us? Uh, I can see you. The the wording is mumbly. Oh, okay. Uh, let's switch up the. Uh, Are we good now? What about now? Uh -oh. No, it's it's frozen up. Yeah, should I try to get out and go back in, or does that not work that way? No, I'll get on our end. Let me try one thing when we come back. Let's see. I'm not sure why it's doing this right now. Let's see. It said we have audio, so we're just getting it. Um, all right. What about you guys see us? Yeah, it's a little bit better, yes. Okay. Sorry about that guy. I'm not sure what happened and why we had a technical difficulty, but that's the ring we're getting here tonight. So that actually could be it. Alright, we're gonna make it through this deal. You know, we're gonna we're gonna see what it do. Um yeah, it's still not. It's still not working. It's still freezing up. So you are clear the actual line. You're clear. So not sure. Video is not clear. The audio. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Y así es. I can see yeah, it's still frozen. Okay. Can you hear us? Uh, not very well. <clears throat> sure, what happened? We apologize, everybody, about... Let me go to my Comcast app and make sure... Okay, I can hear you now. Byron. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, man. We're going to get through this, man. I appreciate you and your patience, everybody, um, and y'all patience. We're going to see what's going mm -hmm. on. Okay, so what's some advice you can give is to the newbies on here that's looking to get started in mobile home investing? Yeah, that's a great question, actually. So um, what I would say is to be ready to commit to a consistent and a flexible approach um, mm -hmm. on, on a weekly basis. So what I'd say is to never stop marketing, whether that's calling parks or putting out signs or doing mail uh, or putting your name out there um, and to be okay with making mistakes, you know, to not be afraid to make mistakes and to always be transparent with the, with the, with the people that you work with, whether it's the sellers or the mobile home park, uh, management um, or the end buyers. So um, I think those are the, the things that have helped me the most, I would say. Nice, nice, man. Truly, truly appreciate that. So, man, like, how did any of our videos, our program, how did that help you do your mobile home investing journey? <clears throat> yeah, so um, I found that to be a great resource uh, for information such as like what to look for when investing for those, for the mobile homes. Um, and to keep in mind that there's hundreds of parks in the state and there's a lot of opportunity. Um, the resources that you guys provide for, you know, how to talk to property managers or owners, um, even how to wholesale, you know, your uh, live Q and A sessions. And then the, the Facebook group that it seems like everybody has a common goal um, that doesn't, you know, uh, contain bashing on others for trying and posting their successes and failures, you know, which you see in a lot, a lot of other groups. Right. So all that I think was, 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 you know, very valuable and, and you know, help me at least get, you know, get going. So. Man, that's amazing, man. Truly appreciate that. And I'm so happy, man, that, that you know, again, we've been able to accomplish in just such a short period of time. I'm looking forward to see what your, you know, your, your first, your next few years are like in mobile home investing. So, man, truly, truly, definitely appreciate you, you know, for, for even sharing with us and giving people some, some incredible value. And so with that being said, everybody, I wanted to, um, I wanted to go ahead and just basically let you guys know that, you know, if you're looking to get more information, how, you know, how to email that information and um, see how, you know, you're able to learn. Uh, we have our Elite Fast Track program, which is a five-week program um, that you're able to not only be coached by us, but our head coach, Nicole Briscoe. Um, you get to actually come to one of our parks in Chicago, Pittsburgh, North Carolina, to meet us. And we tell you, this is a um, this is a program that. You know, again, that we are very serious about and we want to make sure that you take advantage of it. I'm going to put the link in the chat. So if you want to sign up and talk to our strategy coaches, you can get on the phone and definitely set up an appointment to talk with our strategy coaches to learn more about the Fast Track program and see if it's a good fit for you. So with that being said, we can take definitely a few questions. If you guys have some questions uh, for, for each and then um, as well as for us, Go ahead and ask those questions. We appreciate you guys sticking in, even with the technical difficulties. I think somebody has said it earlier and said, uh, <laughs> they said the devil is a lie. Um, where is it? This is, this is so good. All right? You should run so many films, man. They want to hold us back. So, again, we appreciate you guys. Shout out to Nicole for jumping on. Clean. So, 
with that, like I said, if you guys have some questions, definitely go ahead and put it in the chat. We're going to go ahead and, and, and utilize this time for some QA. Mm -hmm. And that bitch, man, you killed it, brother. You killed it, man. Drop it. Oh, let's see. Can you guys press the field or still choppy? Oh. I can't just talk about it. No, we're super excited. It's we're here. sorry for you, Don. She's buffering and freezing. Oh, man. Yeah, unfortunately, we might have to end this one short. Can you, Ish, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. But it's still like uh, cutting in and out. Okay, man, this one is crazy, man. We may have to cut this short because uh, on our end, we're not sure what's going on, but we want to make sure we get this saved. Um, so, let's see. Let's see. Questions. Did you guys hear what we said about questions? Anybody had any questions? Sure. Yeah. So this week, guys, listen, Ish, thank you so much for coming uh, on. Truly appreciate you, man. Yes, appreciate thank you, guys. you so much. Sorry about the technical difficulties, but again, it's been raining really bad, so I'm pretty sure that has something to do with our internet connection. But we appreciate you Ish, coming on the Bless Our Season finale. We're going to be sure that this video is saved so that they can definitely hear all of the gems that you dropped in the beginning of the video. And, man, we will see you guys next season. Yeah, see you next Thank season. You <laughs> see you. Thank you. Thank you.